people in early September continued today with fresh allegations from each side. The escalating tensions seem to be entering a new phase where litigation seems unavoidable as Spice's lawyers have issued a statement that largely ignores a September 15 ultimatum by the promoter's lawyers to refund the performance fee of US $38,773 and apologize for allegedly defamatory statements made on Instagram. Spice is being represented by Aisha Robb in Jamaica and US-based attorney at law, Daryl Thompson, who sent a release to the press headlined, Spice's lawyers respond, no apology, no refund. The statement comes after Spice defended herself on Instagram Live following Chuggit's threat of legal action over the failed show and the alleged damages that ensued. Today, the Summer Like It singer's legal team laid out their version of the events that led the singer's non-performance in Miami, including the seven instances in which they say Spice's contract was breached by right, starting with the much-disputed time at which the dancehall artist was scheduled to perform. The release said she was not required to perform before 9 p.m. The contract stipulated she would perform no later than 11.30 p.m. without any mention of an earlier performance time. However, Peter Champagne, QC, the lawyer of Chuggy promoter Andrew French Wright, contends that Spice breached the contract by arriving at the venue at 9.25 p.m., despite being paid in full six hours before the agreed performance time. He did not appear to be pleased that his client's letter to Spice had been publicly disseminated. Champagne told Dantal Mag, a letter on the instructions of my client was written to Miss Hamilton that his contents and responses to same appear now to be in the public's domain is most unfortunate. Points of contention will often arise between contacting parties and the ultimate way to resolve these are through the courts if not amicably settled. A few days ago, Champagne had sent a letter to Spice demanding a full refund for her appearance on the Chuggy event, given a September 15, 2021 deadline by which time to make the payment in full. Champagne continued further in response to her defamatory allegations. Wright has also demanded a written public apology as well as removal of her offensive and baseline Instagram posts. Spice's attorneys trotted out their client's earlier statements that she bought her own ticket from New York to Florida and stated that the credit card was declined by two different airlines for three of the tickets, two for people in Jamaica and one in New York. The attorney stated that no transportation was provided for Spice on her arrival in Miami and that no ground transportation nor security personnel was provided for the artist by right in Miami. The lawyers also lodged a counterclaim that Wright had also tarnished Spice's reputation. The release ended stating Wright proceeded to defame or tarnish Spice's brand and reputation on social media and this matter will be pursued through the courts. Spice, the queen of dancehall, has been performing for over 20 years both locally and overseas and has always been present and on time for her shows. For the full article, check out the link in the description box. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on all socials at Dance All Mag.